which represents uh, two uh, seemingly incompatible uh, people coming together and uh, making it work and making something beautiful. Oh, it's really gross. It's really, really gross. It's like, it's like. Uh. You look closely, it's not cool, cool. Mm. It's. Yeah, alphabets, is it? Yes! Yay! It's alphabets. Alphabets because you are a man of many words and you like to talk a lot. In a, in a good way. <laughs> and so, these represent all the words and the advice and everything that you give to me and to many other people. Uh, chicken wings, but they're supposed to represent you uh, helping me uh, be all I can be uh, in terms of uh, helping me to fly. <laughs> ah. uh, okay, the dish didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to turn out, but uh, by right inside and out, uh, I do actually feel uh, that uh, you are the most beautiful person that I know. Aww. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually bake. Yeah. I don't even know how to use the oven. <laughs> I'll probably Google it. I have an idea, but... So is a teaspoon supposed to be flat or...? That's a teaspoon. I don't know. And pulse once or twice to combine. How am I going to pulse the bowl? Take the pulse. We met through music mm -hmm. and our love for music, I hope that it will still continue even when we're old. That uh, we'll still continue to sing or make music together and we worship Ben a lot together. And you know, the cake has gone through a lot of like heat and fire and everything. Mm -hmm. um, mm. But when you cut it open, I hope it will flow out with chocolate and mm. So we're still soft in the inside and still malleable to change in that sense. Like, so we're still willing to be changed and we're still willing to learn from each other.